So this morning we are going to speak about the prayer of restoration. Hallelujah. The great God is able to restore each and every soul. Hallelujah. But there is a manner in how God can restore you. It matters on how you approach God. Hallelujah. God can restore. God can do what man cannot do. Hallelujah. If some is broken in life, there is no one that can restore apart from God. You can receive different advice from people, but they cannot fulfill to rebuild your life. Hallelujah. Because the giver of life is God. Hallelujah. And when your life is not stable, when something is not moving according to how it should be, the only person that you can run to is God. Hallelujah, church. Are we together? The only person you can run to is God. Hallelujah. You can go to man. You shall receive different advice based on their experience. Hallelujah. But when you run to God, he restores you based on how he created you. Are we together? That is why Anna went to God. Hallelujah. That is why Anna went to God. But this morning we are looking in the book of Nehemiah. Amen. It is one of my favorite Old Testament book. Amen. So we are reading Nehemiah 1. Nehemiah chapter number 1. We are going to start from 2. Amen. They're going to start from two going down up to number nine. Hallelujah. The Bible reads, Anania, one of my relatives, and some men of Judea arrived, so I asked them concerning the returning of Jews who had been in captivity and concerning Jerusalem. They said to me, the laminate that returned from captivity 
is there in the province enduring great affliction and reproach. Also the wall of Jerusalem remains broken down and its gates have been burned with fire. For when I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned for days. Then I fasted and prayed before the God of heaven and said, I beseech you, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant in mercy for those who love him and keep his commandments. Six, let your ear now be attentive and your eyes be open that you may hear the prayer of your servant which I now pray before you day and night for the children of Israel, your servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel which we have sinned against you. Both my father's house and I have, and I have sinned. Seven. We have acted very corruptly against you and have not obeyed the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which you commanded your servant Moses. Please remember the words that you commanded your servant Moses. Say, if you have been unfaithful, then I will scatter you among the nations. Nine. But you, but if you return to me and keep my commandments and do them, though you outcast are under the forest part of heaven, I will gather them from, from there and bring you back to the place where I have chosen to establish my name. Hallelujah. Did we get the reading? Can we come for Jesus? Hallelujah. Don't be so cold when you're in the house of God. Amen. There is always that saying, especially in the side of Nigeria, they say the bigger your amen, the bigger your blessing. Amen. When they say that, you shall hear everybody's jumping. Hallelujah. Because we love to receive blessings. Hallelujah. Blessings are good and blessings are from God. Hallelujah. So this is the reading of a servant of God, Nehemiah. Hallelujah. When the relative of Nehemiah, Hananiah and some relatives went to see him, he asked them concerning the returning of Jews who have been laid in captivity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Are we together? He asked them concerning the returning of the people who have been in captivity and they said unto him that the laminate from captivity are there in the province. They are suffering great affliction and understand fully where Nehemiah is coming from. Hallelujah. You can write this verse down, 2 Kings 25 verses 10. When you go home, you can read this verse. And also, you can write down Deuteronomy chapter number 4, verses 25 to 32. And also, Deuteronomy 30, verses 1 to 10. Hallelujah. So the servant of God in Nehemiah went before God. Hallelujah. After he had risen. He went before God. The Bible said he fasted and prayed. Hallelujah. He fasted and prayed. Jesus is telling his disciples, he said, this kind does not come out except by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. There are things in your life before God restore you. You need to pray and you need to fast. Hallelujah. disciples of Jesus were praying for the boy. That is in the book of Mark. Hallelujah. They were praying for this child and nothing was happening. When the father of the child saw Jesus coming, he ran unto him and said, Master, I brought my son to your servant, but up to now, nothing has been done. Hallelujah. 
So Jesus took the boy and after he had prayed for him, the disciples went to Jesus and asked him secretly, why couldn't we cast out? He said, this guy, hallelujah, this guy can only come out by fasting and prayer. Hallelujah. They had the power. They had the power to cast out the demons and to heal because Jesus had ordained them and sent them into cities. Hallelujah. But the other thing that was lacking in their life was what? Was fasting. And he told them, for this to come out, you need to do what? You need to fast and pray. So Nehemiah knew the king. The first thing that he did when he cried and mourned, the Bible said he fasted and prayed. And then he went before God and said, Oh God, I beseech you, the great and awesome God. What was the second thing that he did? The second thing that he did, he honored the name of God. Say that God, you are great. You are awesome. There is no master. There is no one that is great as you. There is no one that can restore my life or restore your people as you. He honored the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, when you are going through something, it is not always needed. When you go before God, the first thing we speak is, God bless me. Hallelujah. Amen. We are so eager for blessings, but forgetting to honor the giver of blessing. Hallelujah. When you honor, even Jesus, when he was teaching his disciples how to pray, he said, you shall pray in this manner. The first thing that Jesus said was, our Father, hallowed be thy name. He honored the name of God. Hallelujah. Nehemiah honored the name of God. After he had honored the name of God, that's when he began to lay down. Hallelujah. He said, God, I beseech you, the great and awesome God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, church. He says you are a God who keeps his covenant and what? And commandments unto those that loves him. Hallelujah. You cannot seek blessing from somebody whom you do not love. You cannot seek for restoration to somebody who you do not love. Hallelujah. And before you love that person, you need to know him. Hallelujah. Before you love the person, you need to know the person. Hallelujah. You don't just walk up in the morning and say, you just start telling everybody, I love you. It is good. But we are talking about the, the intimate. He had an intimate relationship with God. They were so close with God. Hallelujah. God is great. He now said, Lord, let your ear be attentive and your eyes be what? Be open. So God the Messiah and God the Messiah. Because let me tell you, let me tell you something. When you pray unto God, and God has already laid it down nicely in the book of Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken, verses 3. He said, You shall make him many players. Hallelujah. And I'll hide my what? I'll hide my feet. Because the Maya was not in Jerusalem. But after he heard this thing, he said, No. I know there is a great and awesome God. He stood in the middle because he was concerned. Hallelujah. Amen. Before God can restore you, hallelujah, he checks your heart. If you are greedy, God cannot restore you. Hallelujah. Number one, if you are greedy, God will never restore you until you change. Hallelujah. Because the more greedy you become, the more evil you become. The more greedy you become, the more selfish you become. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, God does not restore people who are there for revenge. Hallelujah. Amen. You say, because I am suffering, the day that God bless me, I will avenge all my people. I will show them. Amen. God will not restore you. 
God is a God of order, a God of peace, a God of love. For God to restore you, if you are there for revenge, it shall not come to you. Oh, I went to my auntie and asked her for such. She said she doesn't have. I will show her. Amen. Amen. No, I went to my cousin. I asked him for money. He didn't give me the day that I have money. I will show you. Hallelujah. It do not happen. God restores those who are there to help others. Hallelujah. God gave Nehemiah the power, the authority, because it was not just for him. It was for the people of Israel. as a key to your family. But because of your greatness, you remain in the same position. And because of you, your family will suffer. Your family will enter into starvation. Your family will enter into humiliation. Why? Because of your greediness. Number three, God does not restore those who have the heart of stone. Hallelujah. God does not restore people who have a heart of a stone. Hallelujah. God is talking to Ezekiel. Before he took Ezekiel into the vision of the tripods, he's telling that I will take out the stoned heart and I will replace it with the heart of spirit. Hallelujah. With the heart of love so that you can keep and walk in my commandments. Hallelujah. If you have a heart of a stone, God will not restore you. Hallelujah. Your heart needs to be flesh. Your heart needs to have the love of God. And in that manner, you are on the way to restore to your Father. I honor your name. Hallelujah. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Say, Father, I honor your name this morning. In my life, in my family, in my career, in all things, in my home, I honor your name this morning. Open your lips and begin to pray in that direction. Begin to pray, 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 pray in the name of Jesus. Honor the name of God. Honor the name of God. Honor the name of God. In the name of Jesus. Honor the name of God. Honor the name of God. This morning, in the name of Jesus, my son, my Lord. Honor the name of God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. Honor the name of God. Pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we honor your name this morning. Father, we honor your name this morning. In my house, oh Lord. In my family, God. In my career, Jehovah. I honor your name, Jehovah. I honor you, God. For you are great, Jehovah. For you are mighty, God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. I honor you, King of Glory. In the same attitude of prayer, you're going to say, Father, I confess my sins, the sins of my father, the sins of my generation, all the wrong things we have done. Father, I pray for confession. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Confess before God. Confess before God in the name of Jesus. Father, we confess in the name of Jesus. Father, we confess in the name of Jesus. All the sins of God. Of my father's house, Lord, of my generation, God. I pray, God, for your power, O oh God, to have mercy on me, God. To have mercy on us, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. To have mercy on us, Lord. To have mercy on us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. I worship you, God. I worship you, God. In Jesus' mighty name. Your mercy is Shaddai. Your mercy is Shaddai. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the same direction. You're going to pray when you say, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been stolen in my family, whatever the devil has taken, whatever the demon has stolen, I pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to restore me and my family. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Pray for restoration. Pray for God to restore you. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, Father, restore me. 
Father, restore me in Jesus' mighty name. Restore my house, Lord. Restore my family, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Restore my career, Lord. Restore us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray, O God, for restoration, O God. For restoration, O God. In Jesus' mighty name. For restoration, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, O God. Restore us, Lord. Pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Let God you restore your us. Let God you restore your family. Let God you restore your career. In the name of Jesus. Let God you restore all things of you. In the name of Jesus, Christ of God, the Lord. I pray, Jehovah God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus.